Oh, uh, huh. hello. You're, you're, you're up late. I mean, I am too, obviously. Um, I'm just a bit of a night owl, as all. Uh, I didn't know you were as well, apparently, to, to be up at this hour. Uh, but uh, life is full of surprises, huh? <clears throat> For instance, I was not expecting you to notice me, much less approach the window. <laughs> I mean, the, the slit in the curtain is so narrow. Who would who would notice me at the window? I, uh. No, no, uh, uh, I, I wasn't stalking you. Well, it, it wasn't stalking, necessarily. I mean, I, I was watching you, but it was for a short amount of time, well, relatively, and, and I was totally watching you, like, normally, not in, in a weird way. Uh, I just, um, I just, um... Oh, is, uh, is this your place? <laughs> Silly me, I thought it was mine. <laughs> you know, I was, I was thinking, who is this strange person sleeping in my bed? But, you know, now that the lights are on, I, I can, I can see that it's not my room. And, um, you're, you're not a strange person sleeping in, in my bed. You're a strange person sleeping in, in your bed. Um, <clears throat> not, not that you're strange, uh, because I'm the one who was watching you sleep after all. But I, I was just a little shocked, that's all, since I, I thought there was someone else in my place. And, uh, that, that's it. Uh, that's why I was watching you. <laughs> like, a totally normal, sane reason. I, I was too nervous to, to enter what I thought was my place when there was someone else I didn't know inside. You know, you could have been, like, a, a stalker or, or a serial killer or, like, an axe murderer or something. Although I guess those last two are kind of the same thing. Um, anyway, so, so I was waiting at the window to see if you were, um, you know, uh, that. <laughs> <clears throat> Yeah, I know it's kind of weird that I would try to enter my home from the window and not the door like a normal person, but uh, v variety is the spice of life. <laughs> uh, why limit home entering to just doors, am I right? That, that gets old fast. And besides, uh, I I'm into parkour, so it's, it's good practice to go through windows, right? Like that? That sounds reasonable. Yeah. <sighs> oh, my story isn't adding up. Oh. Why didn't I say I lost my keys? Parkour variety is the spice of life. So stupid, stupid corn dog. Uh. Oh, you mean my story isn't adding up because this isn't the first time you've seen me stalking you from your window. Well, that uh, <laughs> that changes the calculus a bit, uh, doesn't it? Um, are you sure it wasn't someone else? Those other 57 times? I mean, ho however many other times there were, it wasn't necessarily 57. That was just a random number I picked out of the air. It doesn't mean anything. Okay, you got me. Um, um, I'm sorry. I just... God, I'm so stupid. I'm, I'm really, really sorry. I, I didn't mean to cause you any trouble. And I, I really didn't want to bother you. It's just... I know this is gonna sound crazy and you don't even know me and, and maybe it is crazy. I mean don't no, it is crazy. I know it's crazy. But you're you're the only good thing in my life right now. And even though it's freezing cold out here in the rain, watching you always makes me feel warm inside and I just uh, you know, I'm I'm just gonna I'm just gonna shut up and let you call the cops. <laughs> right? Like that's what you wanna do. So why don't you just just do that. I'll I'll just stay here. I, I won't run away or anything. I mean, I obviously deserve to be put away, right? Like, <sighs> wait, what? What? <laughs> you want to let me in? Um, <laughs> to get out of the rain. Uh, but I mean, I know it's wet and cold out here, but like I've been stalking you and isn't pneumonia the least I deserve after that? Like I probably deserve prison time and you're just gonna invite me in? Well, oh, okay. Um, if you insist, I, I, I won't argue. Just um, move to the side a bit so I can slide through. <laughs> wow. It's a lot warmer inside. Uh, I mean, of course, I'm still soaking wet, but this is honestly such an upgrade. Like, you can't even imagine. And, uh, you know, I've seen the inside so many times, but this is the first time I've actually been inside. I, you know, I'm, I'm not that kind of stalker. I, I would never come in without permission. It's just, this is, it's like I'm stepping onto holy land. I actually feel really guilty, like I'm desecrating it. <laughs> Isn't that silly? <clears throat> 
Yeah, I'm, I'm so glad you let me in. And, and not just because of the rain. I, uh, I always wanted to come in, but I was always too nervous and I, I didn't want to have to break your window. I'd probably be really expensive to replace and I wouldn't be able to repay you because I'm, well, I'm poor. <laughs> I guess I could have, like, knocked on your door, but that would have required talking to you and, I'm, well, I guess, I guess I am talking to you right now, but that's, um, that's different. You started it. Sorry. Anyway, um, oh my gosh, uh, I'm so sorry. I'm, I'm dripping wet and getting water all over your dry floor. Well, I mean, it was dry, right, until some stupid corn dog came and dripped all over it. Now it's not. <laughs> Do, do you have a towel or something? I'll, I'll clean this up right away. I'm, I'm really sorry. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Oh my God, I'm sorry. Oh. What, what do you mean it can wait? I, what could be more important than the floor you walk on? I mean, mean other than you, of course, but water damage, it's bad news. I, uh. what? what? What do you mean you need to get me out of my clothes? I, uh, I mean, I love you and I, I know I said I'm dripping wet, but it's just so soon and I, I need some makeup and Oh, <sighs> okay, um, right, yeah, you mean to get me into warmer clothes, dry clothes, uh, <laughs> that would make a lot more sense than my stupid fantasy, right? Like, yeah. Well, um, okay then, I if you have anything that'll fit me and it's not too much trouble, yeah, I'll, I'll wear it. I'll try not to sniff it too much. What? No, I didn't, I didn't say anything. Oh, yeah, thank you for the towel. I'll get to work right away. Sorry? Oh, w was the towel for me to dry myself? Oh, I thought you, uh, I thought you wanted me to dry the floor. Isn't that stupid? Um, okay, sure. Just, um, hand me that change of clothes and I'll, I'll be back before you know it. Hey. Uh, hello. I'm, I'm back. Uh, like I said, I'm, uh, I'm really sorry for getting your floor all wet, and if you're all right with it, I'd like to go and, uh... Oh, you already dried it. You really didn't have to. I, I wish you hadn't. You're already doing so much for me, and I, I feel so guilty. I've been nothing but a burden since I got here. I mean, you, you let me in from the rain and you got me a towel and you gave me clean clothes and, uh, you know, cleaning up my mess is the least I can do. But now that that's done, well, uh, what should I do? There's not really any reason for me to stay. I mean, I, uh, I, I can understand if maybe you want to send me home as soon as the rain settles down. <laughs> not that I, um, not that I have one. Look by the fireplace. What? Oh. <laughs> did, uh, did you set this up for both of us? Really? You, you really didn't have to. I mean, yeah, I'm, I'm still freezing and laying by the fire would really help, but you didn't need to do all this for me. After everything you've already done, I, I could have just laid down on the floor. <laughs> but you, you set out a couple of bedrolls so I could have some company and, I mean, you, you even laid out all these snacks. And not just cheap ones. The stuff you'd leave out for company you don't like. I... <laughs> I spy with my little eye some chocolate-covered almonds and, and the pretzels with the peanut butter in them. I, how did you know I like those? And and there's even marshmallows to roast over the fire. And, and two sticks? <laughs> so we can roast them to, together. Oh, that's... That's so romantic. Uh... Oh, sorry. Was I rambling? Uh, yeah, I, um, I tend to do that. Yeah, I'll, uh, I'll shut up and, and join you by the fireplace now. Oh, wow. This feels amazing. Oh. It's like going out to play in the snow and then coming inside and taking off all your wet clothes and getting a mug of hot chocolate. I mean, I, I guess it, that's never happened to me, but this is probably like that, right? Laying by the fireplace with you. Snacking on trail mix. And, and I even get to sleep in a bedroll with you. Oh, well, I'm not laying in a bedroll with you, <laughs> unfortunately. But I'm in a bedroll, and I'm sleeping with you. Well, no, no, no not with you, but uh, next to you. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm blabbering like an idiot here. You, you probably get what I'm trying to say, right? Right, right, sorry. 
where I was overthinking things. I, uh, I always do. Huh. Oh, no, it's, um, it's fine. It's fine, I promise. If there's anything you want to ask me, like I said, you've, you've just been doing so much for me, just absolutely everything, and there's no way I can decline your requests. So, uh, ask away. I I'm an open book. <laughs> I have nothing to hide. Oh, wait, let me think. Mm, okay, so maybe I do have a few things to hide, but I mean, what would you expect from a stalker, right? But whatever you ask about, I won't hide it from you. <laughs> no, really, Pinky promise. I meant what I said about being an open book. You you can rifle through all my chapters if, if you want. <laughs> oh, did you, uh, huh, did you hear what I whispered about not having a home to go back to? No, it's okay. I'll I'll tell you. It's it's not a bother, really. <laughs> if anything, I'll be happy to get it off my chest. I <laughs> haven't exactly gotten to talk it out with anybody. Oh my god, where do I where do I start? Uh okay, well, a while ago. Well, no, wait. Actually, the story starts before that. <laughs> uh, let me go back further. Okay, so I guess to set the scene, there's something that you really need to know about me. And it's, I don't know why it's so hard to say. It's not like it's not true. Um, so my defining trait is that I'm a useless piece of shit. <laughs> I can't study, I can't work, I can't do chores. I just really cannot focus on like anything. It's like I can't take two steps without breaking down. And uh, my family didn't really believe in like What's the word? Support? Psychiatrists, therapy, medication, any kind of stuff that would actually help somebody like me. You know, it, it was very pull yourself up by your bootstraps, which is not super helpful. Anyway, yeah. So, uh, you're caught up. Worthless piece of shit. Uh, but, uh, there's an exception. And, I was gonna sound weird, but it's you. When I focus on you, I get all giddy, and my hands and feet just guide themselves, and I can, like, actually get stuff done. I know that sounds crazy, but you're like some kind of, I don't know, beacon of focus or something. Like, I, I, I tried looking it up once, because I knew that wasn't, you know, normal, and I think it's, I don't know, a, a hyper fixation or, oh, what is it, the, the obsessive-compulsive relationship. I don't think it's disorder. I think it's something else. I can't remember. <laughs> yeah, I just, I think it might be something like that. I don't know. But you know, the end result is that I, I'm your stalker. <laughs> and I'm your stalker because when I think about you, I can get stuff done. Like making a drawing of you or uh, writing a love poem to you. <laughs> I mean, I'd, I'd show you the latter, but I'd, um, I might actually die of embarrassment. <laughs> and you know, then you'd have a corpse on your hands and nobody wants that. And, and sometimes, when I think about you, <laughs> I think about, you're such a nice person, and you seem really kind, and, you know, you're always doing stuff for other people. So when I, I think about how happy it would make you, sometimes I can actually, like, take care of myself a little bit. Isn't that stupid? That's, that's the dumbest thing. You know, I, I can't take care of me for me, but I can take care of me, at least somewhat, for, for you. Uh, anyway, the point of my story is, putting it mildly, I'm a filthy parasite. <laughs> Somebody who contributes nothing to her household. Or, well, contributed, I guess. Uh, see, I was always just a burden relying on my parents to pay bills and, you know, just kind of soaking up resources, doing nothing. And until one day, until one day, well... Mm -hmm. They, um, they got into an accident. I'm, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to make that sound so ominous. It makes it sound like I killed them. I, I didn't. Uh, I know you've got no reason to believe that, but, like, I promise I didn't. It was, um, just a run-of-the-mill car accident, you know? Just one of those things. Nobody's fault. So anyway, my, um, my sister inherited the house, and after getting fed up with me and my lack of any redeeming qualities, she finally kicked me to the curb. <laughs> I'm surprised it took as long as it did, honestly. I I mean, I don't blame her. I'd probably kick me out, too. <sighs> I don't have a job or anything, and I'm obviously not in school, and 
<laughs> Clearly, I don't have any friends to crash with, so, um... I've just been staying at a motel, using my inheritance. Well, <laughs> it's just about gone now. It wasn't much of an inheritance to begin with, but, um... I tried to make it last as long as I could. <laughs> I even skipped out on meals trying to make it last longer. You know, intermittent fasting is hip, right? We don't call it starvation anymore, we call it intermittent fasting. <sighs> and, uh, even when I was still eating, I mean, it was just instant noodles. I'm probably more ramen flavor packet than person by now. <sighs> These snacks are the only real food I've eaten in a while, actually. So, uh, thank you. And, uh, I'm sorry for bothering you with all this. Nobody wants to hear my sad sack life story, right? I know you probably have enough problems of your own without me. Everyone does. I just, uh, well, I, I just don't know what I'm going to do. Today was the last day I could afford to stay at the motel. It's one of those rent-by-the-week kind of places. And the, the guy in the unit next to me, he offered to let me stay with him, but the, the price for that was a little too high, if you get my drift. So, uh, I've got the clothes on my back. Well, not even these clothes, the ones I'm not wearing. And, uh, pocket change. I, I know I really should have taken some steps to fix my future, but... <sighs> that's the kind of thing normal people can do, right? I always just freeze up. It's so hard, like, it's embarrassing how hard it is. Um, and it's just so much easier to just, just not, <laughs> you know? The only steps I can take are toward you. And I, uh, I guess that's why my feet brought me here tonight. No, no, I, I could never ask that of you. You don't have to let me stay here. I've been, like, harassing you, to put it lightly, and, and you seriously can't want to let me stay with you, right? Like, that, that's crazy. Like, I know I'm crazy, and I know how crazy that is. Did that make any sense? I'm sorry, I... Uh, but you can't want me to stay here. In your home? Aren't, aren't you worried about your own safety? I'm obviously not right in the head. <laughs> what if you wake up one day and just, just... Don't. I mean... What if you wake up dead? I mean, that's not what I mean. Uh... You... Order me? To stay with you? Well, that's rich. <laughs> you got me there. I, I guess I did say I couldn't decline your requests. Uh, so... Alright. Um... I guess an order is an order, and I take those now, apparently. <laughs> uh, who am I to say no to you? Right? Thank you. Oh, well, um, will, will that be all, then? <laughs> uh, not to sound like a total hentai cliché, but do you have any other orders for me? <laughs> uh, oh, <laughs> did you, did you hear my other whisper, too? <laughs> uh, about me regretting that I'm not truly in a bedroll with you? Well, <laughs> you're the boss. Sure thing, then. Um, if you've got room for two in that bedroll, I'll gladly join you. Thank you for being so considerate about keeping me warm. Oh, wow, this really is warmer. Wow, <laughs> you're really warm. <laughs> you're my little lava monster, huh? <laughs> oh, oh, sorry, I'm, um... Am I being creepy? I, I have a hard time telling. I'll, um, I'll try to put a lid on it. Mm. This is, um, this is the happiest day of my life. <laughs> I never in a million years imagined I'd be staying with you, living with you, cuddling up next to you all snugly. <clears throat> oh, not... Not to be presumptuous, I can understand if you don't really think this counts as cuddling. I mean, we are just next to each other, right? Not really putting our arms around each other or anything like that. So, um, if you ordered me to put my arms around you, I wouldn't say no. <laughs> Sorry, just just a thought. Just Just thinking out loud here. Sorry if it bothered you. I, I didn't mean to be a burden. Um, you. 
You want me to stop calling myself a burden? Well, okay. Is that an order? <laughs> it is? Oh, well, then... <laughs> okay. I can't say no to you.